What is up, MFers? I am obviously and unfortunately back in Nebraska, no longer in California. Nebraska, you know, home of ice, snow, cold sadness. But that's okay because you know what? It was great while I was out in San Diego. I had an amazing time, met a bunch of amazing people. I really hope you guys like those videos. Sounds like a lot of you guys like those videos, but we're gonna get back out on the ice today. And the cool thing is I'm actually fishing the spot right here where I caught that giant muskie. But the goal today is something a little bit different. This this lake has a whole bunch of trout stocked in it, a whole bunch of crappie, bluegill, big bass too. And, and the goal today is to catch a trout, bluegill, crappie, whatever, uh, and do a catch and cook on the ice. You know, even though I'm complaining about how cold it is in Nebraska, it's actually not too bad today. It's about 40 degrees, so it's gonna be a really nice day uh, to get out and enjoy some time on the ice. A, a nice little transition from that 75, 80 degree California weather. So I'm gonna go pop some holes, get after it. Let's do this. All right, popped a couple of test holes. The ice is most definitely safe. Always a plus, something you definitely wanna take into consideration when you're out by yourself like I am today. You know, it's kinda cool being back here. This is the spot where it all went down with that giant muskie. <gasps> oh my God. First time I've been back here since, but uh, like I said, today, the target's a little bit different. We're going after a trout. And, and you know what, if we catch a bunch of trout, you can bet your ass one of those trouts is going on a tip up to try to make that magic happen one more time. Now real quick, before I get started fishing today, I wanna to talk to you guys about one quick little thing about my Instagram page. You know, I really want to get you guys more involved uh, and really grow the community and grow the brand of Melican Fishing uh, on Instagram since I feel like we already have an amazing community I've already built up on YouTube. So the way I wanna do that is, Anytime you post anything on Instagram, hashtag it Millican Fishing, uh, and I'll feature you in my story. Uh, I'll repost some stuff, especially if you're wearing some Millican Fishing clothing. If you want any of this awesome clothing, like this High Life hoodie right here, go to MillicanFishing.com, go pick one up. And it, they catch, they help you catch bigger fish. I'm not gonna lie, I've caught bigger fish since I started wearing this High Life hoodie. I don't know what it is. It's got magical powers. Anyways, though, if you guys catch a fish wearing my gear, I'll, I'll feature it, put on my story, whatever. If you if you catch a fish you just want me to see, hashtag American Fishing, I'll, I'll probably just feature you in my story and, and Instagram as well. So go do that. But I'm done talking. It's time to drill some more holes and hopefully catch some slunches. Let's go. Okay, guys, time to get things started. Just popped a hole right here out off this uh, this dock right here where I caught that giant muskie. Uh, just from experience, I know it's a little bit deeper here. It's kind of a good place. You know, trout like to kind of be in these deeper basins I've found. I actually haven't fished for trout this year, um, so I'm kind of jacked about that. But once again, my favorite thing to use, as usual, is the teardrop wax worm combination. Uh, but these trout under the ice are super, like, nomadic. So I'm definitely going to be covering some water today. Try not to make too big of a mess and get all my stuff taken out of my sled because I'm probably going to be covering a lot of water to try to find some of these dudes out here. Oh, hey, fish on the screen. That's fun. Ooh, that one crushed it. Come back, buddy. Good God, what was that? There we go. There we go. What do we got here? What do we got here? A catfish? What? That's my first catfish through the ice this year. <laughs> Look at that cool little thing. That's a pretty sick little catch. First uh, catfish at all this year. I know a lot of you guys have been hitting me up saying I should do some catfishing videos this year on the river and stuff. So, so go drop a thumbs up, comment if you wanna see some catfish fishing this year. That's something I definitely, I'm thinking about doing. So if you guys, uh, enough of you guys let me know that you wanna see that, I will definitely go do that. But this is cool, it's a cool little channel catfish through the ice. Haven't caught one of those yet through the ice. Maybe, nah, I've caught them before, just not this year. Come on, go down. <laughs> That's pretty slick, I like that. Catfish through the ice, huh? All right, good start. All right, new spot, and there's fish on the screen. I like it. Oh man, we got four on the screen. Five, six on the screen, this is the spot. There we go. Oh, he came off. That was definitely bigger than bluegill, and I, you guys got to see. That's what you want when you're ice fishing. Those are all fish. There's no brush pile down there. Those are fish. Unbelievable. First, I thought they were like little bitty bluegill or something, because they, I don't know, they, they wouldn't commit to the bait, but now I lifted up on that one, and he was way bigger than a small bluegill, either a big crappie, trout, bass, something.
Oh God, that one freaking crushed it and I lost him. No, oh God, that one hit it on the fall. That had to have been a trout. He came out of nowhere and got it. Sucks because they're like chewing and I still haven't gotten one up out of the hole besides that catfish when I started. Good God, that one ate it hard. There we go, there we go. Time to see what these are. Oh my God, seriously, another freaking catfish? <laughs> They're definitely fun. Ow, and he got me. That is hilarious. Just little guys, little catfish. I wonder if that's what's been messing with me down there. I'm about to start keeping these. These are small, but they're actually good eater size. They must have stocked them in here, this small size, a whole bunch of them or something. These small catfish like this actually have a solid amount of meat. They're about a foot long. We're gonna keep this guy just for now. That's a sick little catch. Apparently there's a lot of them in here. We're gonna thin the herd a little bit today. There we go. There we go. Oh. <sighs> I'm struggling today. Like big time struggling. Good God. That was insane. <laughs> that was literally the hardest bite I've ever had ice fishing. Oh my God, that thing freaking destroyed it. Wow, there must be a ton of catfish in here. I swear there's trout in here, but hey, catfish is just as good right now. I'm gonna keep that guy too. Good little eater size, that's why they stock them in here that size. This is crazy fun. Those things are crushing it. I hope you guys can see like just how jarring that bite and a couple of these other words. That one absolutely smoked my teardrop. Like, like he hit it going 30 miles an hour. It was insane. Good God, another one. Oh, that's a trout. Get out of there. Yes. Okay, so we got catfish and a trout. That's, that's uh, what we were after right there. But we've been catching catfish. The little like hit the same, super hard, fought the same, and we got the target species. All right, this is a this is a weird day, but I like it. Well, guys, fishing has slowed down quite a lot. I've been here for a couple hours now. I've just gotten those three catfish uh, and one trout. Two of the catfish I kept. And that was a total, total freaking surprise. I haven't caught a catfish through the ice probably in a couple years at the very least. So my intentions were for this video to do like a trout or bluegill or crappie catch and cook on the ice, but you know, when life gives you lemons, you got to cook up some catfish. So I think uh, I'm gonna clean up that trout, save it for later, take it home with me, eat it another time. But I'm gonna cook those catfish up on the ice. I've never cooked catfish on this channel or even targeted catfish on this channel. So I'm gonna get these catfish cleaned up, show you guys how I like to clean catfish when they're that small size. Usually I fillet up the, the better size ones. Uh, I generally don't keep anything over like eight to 10 pounds ever when I fish for catfish because they can get a little bit mushy uh, at that point. But these little channel catfish that are like 12 to 14 inches, absolutely perfect eater size. So I'm gonna get them cleaned up, show you how I like to cook them and then hopefully eat some delicious catfish on the ice. Let's go. All right, time to get these kitten fish cleaned up. This is my uh, my fillet board today since apparently I didn't bring my actual fillet board because uh, I was planning on catching trout, but that's okay. We're gonna cut cut these catfish up, clean them kind of like we do the trout. So first step we're gonna do, we're gonna find where this gill plate is. The outside of the gill plate, there's a little bone that sticks out right there. Now we're gonna go all the way to the middle of the catfish up to the spine. Now it's better to have a, a really chopping butcher type knife uh, to cut the head off, which we're gonna do here in a second, but this is what we brought today, so this is all we got. So we're gonna cut them open all the way through. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna just chop the entire head off this guy. Of course, you wanna make sure the catfish is dead uh, beforehand, before we do all this. That way you don't end up with these dudes in your finger, which is no fun. Hey, we're, uh, we got the head off, we're already almost there. Also important to dispatch of the contents that you're leaving behind into a bag and throw them away. It's very illegal to leave carcasses uh, out wherever you've been fishing. So we're gonna get that guy put in the dumpster up there in just a second here when we get these cooking. Next step here, we're gonna wanna take a scissors and chop off the spine up here. This guy will mess you up. You definitely wanna chop him off. Now, generally you wanna use some kitchen shears that are really sharp and good for cooking. Once again, I'm unprepared, what's new? So we're gonna chop that guy off up there, get him down as far as you can into the spine. That way you're not eating 
a freaking catfish spine. Next thing I want to do, just like a trout, we're going to cut it all the way down to the rectum. Damn near killed them. And you're going to tear all these guts out that are right here. You don't want any of these guts left in here. Uh, and, and, but that's good. We're, we're getting there. We're almost done, actually. This is very easy quick cleaning process kind of use some water some snow whatever you got to uh, wash that out i know snow is not a, a great sanitary option um so so don't do that maybe if you live in like an inner city with some acid purple rain purple rain anyways all right let's cut the fins off and the tail off we are almost there first thing we're going to chop that tail right above the tail it's pretty explanatory boom we're losing the tail he doesn't have a tail now and uh chop these guys off and, and then we're we're almost there we're, we're this is the home stretch folks oh hey look i didn't have to chop it off usually that's possible to do too usually you can you can kind of just feel your way through there just like on a trout all right there we go we got all the fins off we got the head off we got the tail off we're left with this guy right here and this is why i like to clean these smaller catfish like this because if you fillet them you're not going to end up with very much meat the one step left to do here is to skin the catfish now that's extremely easy when you have skinning pliers i do not have skinning pliers so we're just going to make a slit all the way down the back through the skin like so That'll make it easier for us to kind of grab on with our, our fork or scissors, whatever we can dig in there. And we just rip the skin off at that point. Pretty complicated. Oh, hey, look at that. I uh, couldn't get the skin off, so I went and got some actual pliers out of my toolbox in my truck. Wow, it's weird that I was actually prepared today. All right, there you have it. Boom, got him skinned up. Man, that was easier with the pliers. Not quite as easy as trout. Trout, you can usually just pull it off with your hands. I'm gonna cut this fin off right here because you know that's not really necessary. But as you can see, it's gonna be a perfect size to uh, fit into our frying pan. Gonna be money. There you have it, all finished up. Time to repeat the process one more time. We'll be ready to start cooking. All right, got her lit. This thing is insanely hot. So we're gonna kind of crank it down to low. Cook these nice and low. Get a good bearing of how they're cooking. Get this thing nice and leveled out. All right, I think we're leveled. I know we're hot. A little bit of olive oil. Get it heated up nice over that low heat. Probably about a tablespoon or two. Now, generally with catfish, I'd want to fry them up nice and lightly not not super deep fat fried so i toss them in a little bit of milk and then flour at this point well i thought i was doing trout like i said nothing's perfect nothing ever goes as planned but that's the cool thing about fishing and about the video today so we're just going to take a little bit of seasoning uh season these up so i got the seasoning in this bag i don't want to just drop this in the bag because that's going to season it a little too heavily for what we're doing but i got salt pepper uh, italian seasoning and garlic powder in this which is a really nice mixture for fish so i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on both sides of both of these fish and we're gonna be off and running boom there you go so as you can see not not overly um, seasoned right there like i didn't take a whole bunch uh, and, and shove it on there or just drop it in the bag but that's about all you're gonna need right there so let's get this guy put on the pan All right, there we go. We're gonna give these guys about oh, three or four minutes um, on each side on that nice low to medium heat right there. And they're gonna be ready to eat. I cannot freaking wait. I haven't had catfish in so damn long. Yeah, see, that's how you can tell it's getting done. So a nice little bit of brown on there. Uh-huh. Perfect. And these are gonna be so freaking good. All right, been on there for about seven or eight minutes. I'd say these dudes are uh, close to perfection. Well, moment of truth, time to see if these catfish right here taste as good as they look, because they look absolutely delicious. And that seasoning is just money on every type of fish. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. Cannot go wrong with it. Hmm. Yes, so good. And it comes right off the bone. You kind of flake it right off the bone, just like a, uh, like a trout that you cook that way. I haven't cooked a, a catfish like this in a long time. Usually I just fry it up, like I said, but this is absolutely a money way to try them. I mean, especially if you've got the little ones like this, this is a good way to get the most out of the meat. Because if you fillet them up, I feel like you really lose a, a lot of the meat and there's not very much in the first place, but absolutely delicious. I'm gonna get these eaten up for sure. 
Well guys, that is the conclusion of my quick little outing today out onto the ice. Now we didn't absolutely whack them today, but it was a total surprise to go out and catch some catfish to do a catch and cook with. I never thought when I left today I'd be doing a catfish catch and cook or that I would catch them in numbers. They're kind of official like you just randomly catch around here. So it's super cool to actually catch some numbers and, and of course eat them. They were freaking delicious and that's a recipe super, super easy. Now something to always remember is to practice selective harvest. I'll, I'll remind you guys that in all my catch and cook videos, but practice selective harvest. Go out and catch fish and, and keep them only if it's legal for one uh, and if there's enough in the lake to support you taking some home. Don't go keep trophy fish. Now obviously these catfish, they're stocked in this lake by the thousands to be kept cleaned, cooked just like we did today. So it was an absolutely perfect opportunity to cut down the population a little bit so some of those other catfish could potentially grow up to be trophies. Now guys, don't forget, go check out my Instagram page and hashtag everything that you post, hashtag Melican Fishing. Go pick up some Melican Fishing apparel at melicanfishing.com. I got a couple more ice fishing videos coming your way. And then once again, I'm heading down south. I'm heading out west. I'm heading to the southeast. Uh, I'm heading all over the place southwest again. Uh, I have so many trips planned, so many exciting adventures to bring you in the next month, month and a half or so. So thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch this video and keep an eye out for some of the cool things to come. Use hashtag Melican Fishing on Instagram. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.